16, I was seven years. I've been explaining about war. Most of my family, who are soldiers, they are all finished. They are all killed because of the fighting. But I just taught myself I should never give up. My name is Santino Kenyi. I'm 23 years old now. My record holder is 1,500 meters in South Sudan. I made the record that allowed me to go to Olympic. South Sudan. We are opening the door for the young generation of South Sudan. Let us work for 2020. I know together we can. Yes. yes. The war affected us really much as runners. You can move from even 40 miles away from Juba. There are some rebels on the road, so I fear also maybe I may be killed on the roadside. One of the things we are really lacking here in South Sudan is the facilities. And secondly, we have no coach. So I try to train for myself. Now I'm still in a, like a national level. I did not go to the international level. What I need is uh, I should train with the people who has good time. When you train with them, to become best like them. I really dream of it. So we are going to start our training. So we are going to start from there. Then we go up to the hill. And then we jog down. Kampala is a lot of hills. So that's why this one is also one of the preparation I'm doing for Kampala. It was a surprise kind of thing that I saw this Santino on TV that is going to represent South Sudan in Brazil. And then we thought if this man can do it, then we can also do it. Maybe one day we're also going to represent our country. In 2020, that is in Tokyo. Here you come. Where are you come? Oh! <laughs> How are you? Just working because <laughs> I never went to place three years since I started my career running. So I'm really very happy to visit my parents and my clan. I left the village when I was a boy. My, my dad decided to bring me to school. I was in kettle camp. Yeah, I was a kettle keeper. Yeah, we are in uh, my village called Maraca, and uh, this one is called Bekat. So we are proceeding to my people now. I'm um, first someone who has gone abroad in my community and in my tribe also. When I was going to Brazil, even the told I'm going to remain there. But I told them I will come back for you. I don't care. 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 The people happy because no one in, in my community has gone in that level. They always encourage me that 
no matter how difficult it is, just keep it up. So now we are going to run away from it. Like now, now the thing we are going to do is to run away from it. You are not going to win the final. You are 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 going to win the final. This cruise country competition is very important. I have to perform well or to get good time so that I can qualify to the next state, the next Olympic. That's what only is I put in my mind. I have to do something so that I overcome the challenges. Our way to Kampala. Now we are in the city. Yeah, we are now in the city. When you're in South Sudan, it's like, Anytime someone can come and take you. But I, I just keep hold that if I die, anytime, God has taken me. We just came from Cuba now, so I'm, I'm also very tired, and tomorrow we are going to do our best. people of South Sudan. My family even they'll feel good because I, I raise their name and I raise the, the name of the country. And then not only the country, the whole world will be happy. 